The Caribbean region is regarded as one of the most hazard prone region in the world. We, we are vulnerable to a number of hazards and these include hurricanes, volcanoes, tsunamis, earthquakes and a host of others, flooding, etc. The fishermen, the fishing communities are not immune from these hazards. In fact, over the years we have suffered quite a lot of damage and destruction and fatalities in fishing communities as well as in the wider, wider Caribbean region from these uh, hazard events. So we are a very vulnerable region. In the region we have, had, we have seen increased incidents of hurricanes and stronger hurricanes. We have periods of drought, we have flooding, we have seen more flooding in recent times than we have had in years. Also uh, we have had mass mortality of the coral reefs in, uh, in some areas over 80% of the coral reefs died in uh, 2005 and this is due to elevated temperatures. These coral reefs have been living for hundreds and thousands of years. Suddenly they're all dying off and we know that the reason is elevated temperatures. Last year we had unprecedented influx of sargassum seaweed in the Caribbean region. Uh, in such massive quantities that fishermen could not go out to sea in some cases. And in some cases also, uh, uh, some of the fishes that the fishermen no normally target, the flying fish for example, they were completely absent. Now we believe these things are related to climate change and climate variability. Now I mentioned the natural disasters, but we also are vulnerable to man-made disasters. The Caribbean region is a major shipping region. We have heavy shipping traffic throughout the region. Ships transport anything from fertilizers to pesticides to um, chemicals, including toxic chemicals, also radioactive uh, waste. Uh, accidents can occur anytime. So these are some of the real threats, hazards that we face. And the fishermen and fishing communities living as they are in the land water interface, they are particularly vulnerable. Uh, disaster risk management and the hazards that we face as a result of uh, climate, climate change and climate variability now occupies a very prominent position in our economic planning and our policy making and for that reason uh, our governments have established two key agencies to help to spearhead our response to climate change and disaster risk management. First of all they established the Caribbean, climate, Caribbean Community Climate Change Center, the five C's we call it for short. And uh, the purpose of that center is to spearhead our response to climate change. They also established the Caribbean Emergency Disaster Risk Ma Management Agency, SEDEMA for short. And this agency, this agency's responsibility is to coordinate and promote regional efforts to strengthen disaster risk, risk management. And they have adopted uh, a comprehensive disaster management strategy that looks at the entire disaster management cycle, uh, starting with prevention, looking at preparedness, response, rehabilitation, as a case may be, so that we have a comprehensive approach. And our focus is to focus on uh, prevention and preparedness because we think this is, this, this is where attention and effort should be directed at this time. The key is in education, awareness building and empowerment of our fisher folk and fishing communities so that they understand the risk, the challenges, that they understand the options that they have and that they are empowered to make decisions for themselves to, to, to prevent and to prepare for. Uh, government agencies, regional agencies cannot do what needs to be done. At the end of the day, you must focus on working with, mobilizing and getting the, the, the fisher folk and fishing communities to take the action that they think is necessary. Now, of course, there's a, there are a number of things that we need to do to ensure that this 
happens. So we, we, we uh, are working to develop uh, uh, our education and awareness program. We're working to develop a comprehensive strategy to ensure that uh, the fisheries issues, fisheries sector concerns are, are, are developed and, and executed with disaster risk management in mind, with climate change adaptation in mind. First of all, let me commend FAO for elevating the issue of disaster risk management and climate change in their work program. FAO is now giving priority attention to this issue, and rightly so. One of the challenges we have in the region, uh, in a sense, we know what we want to do, but we do not have the resources, the expertise and the financial resources, the institutional resources. You know, we're all small island developing states with limited capacity, but, but, we, are able, but we need to respond quickly. And so the, the support that FAO is providing now is very welcomed, and that will help us uh, get on our way.